So you want to play at a dance music festival, but how do you get booked to play music festivals? Today I'm going to give you a plan to get you from the couch to that festival stage. Let's dive in. Hey, I'm Graham Farmer, founder of dance music website Data Transmission, which has just celebrated its 15th birthday. So let's get off the couch, switch that Netflix subscription off, stop chilling. And let's get to it. When it comes to getting booked for music festivals, or in fact club shows for that matter, it comes down to four major areas. Major areas. And one big question which you need to ask yourself, which so many people miss and is really important, so stick around for that. So the four big things are your music and your DJ product, your content and your marketing, your network and your audience. The first one you're going to need is your music and all your DJ skills. And lots of promoters are now looking at Spotify stats and music listeners to see whether they book an artist. Yes, Spotify, that thing you hate because it only pays 0.0.0.0.4447 per stream. What those monthly listeners actually represent is actual people listening to your music. This is how you convert that revenue into an actual living by getting gigs. So all that time you've been putting into building your Spotify and your release strategy and growing those numbers and your listeners and your followers is all going to start to pay off. Promoters like people. People buy tickets, people buy drinks, and people keep the roofs on their houses when they're putting on these big shows. DJs buy tracks on Beatport. DJs will often nick riders. They'll also expect to get in for free sometimes. And most of the time, they're not the paying punter. If you need any help growing your Spotify, I've got tons of videos on this channel on how to grow your listeners and your followers. And I'm going to link to a playlist in the description. So... Get cracking on your craft, and maybe if you need to do a production course to level yourself up, these are important. People like the Torum Academy or Education and Base do great courses to help you improve your skills. Or you could join Discords like mine or Kick and Bass. Again, these are great places to get demo feedback so you can improve your demos. If you need some more ears on your demos, then every Monday on my Twitch stream, we listen to demos from my Discord server. So join one of those. We cover all dance music. We also invite in a and from record labels, and we had over 20 records signed in February alone. The link to my Discord is below, and the streams are announced weekly. The other thing you could be showing is if you're super skilled at being a DJ, show that skill off regularly. And that leads us on to our second point, your content. Yep, everyone is a content creator these days, whether you like it or not. And I know there's not enough time in the day to make music, let alone be an amateur your cameraman, model, workout instructor, hiker, stylist, or whatever else they're doing these days. But you don't need to do all those. You just need to put DJ content online. But if you're still struggling with content and want to level up your social strategy, then my course, The Artist Blueprint, teaches you exactly how to do that. We also look at growing your Spotify, getting more gigs, and getting more music signed. And if you want to talk to me more about it, then it's about jumping on a discovery call, and the link to the discovery calls is pinned in the comment. On the calls, we'll chat for 30 minutes, about what you're doing now, where you want to get to. And if that bit in the middle between those two points is the course, we'll chat about the course. And if it's not right for you right now, I'll give you some t tips to push on. One of the biggest things I've spoke about on DJs and producers, and I've spoke to over 400 now, is getting more gigs. And the common thing that comes up is always, gee, I want to get more gigs. I want to tour the world. It's definitely things I've heard regularly. So if you want something, you need to spend some more time on it. And you can make a lot of content quite quickly. If you saw last week's video, we made two months worth of content in one day. Or you could block out time in your calendar and make that content in one space. Then you can get up to 90 days content, like my course member Peewee did. If you check out this interview on my other music talk channel, he tells exactly how he's been using those content strategy to get in more music signs and also get in more gigs. Two things when it comes to content. If you're a DJ and you're banging skills, putting this content on short form platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts and Facebook Reels is really going to help you get more gigs because you're showing off your skills on the best platform with the most reach. If you look at DJs like Devstar, Jack Swift, Amy L, they all show off their skills regularly and have got massive DJ bookings off them. The good thing about using short form content and building your socials is going to lead me into point three, building an audience. As we spoke about earlier, promoters like people. And that's what audience is. Real people that buy tickets and buy drinks. And they might even buy merch. So by releasing great music and putting it on good labels, it's going to help you build an audience. Building your content series is going to help you build an audience, which will actually have actual fans. And that's going to get us along the way from getting off the couch to that festival stage. You're going to need a few other things though, and that big question is still to come. Audience could also be because you're one of those people that's just got tons of mates. Rent a crowd, I call them. You're at the time of your life where everyone's out partying every weekend and would go to a party if you were DJing it. This is amazing 
amazing if you do have this, and it's what's called leverage, and I would use it. Our fourth point is one of the most important points, and actually more important than anything else that I've spoke about so far. It's your network. Who is in your network? Get out there, get to parties, shake hands, and press the flesh. And a great place to do this is conferences. The big ones are Brighton Music Conference, Berlin Music Conference, Ibiza Music Summit, all coming up before the summer. And they're great for networking, and I'll be at all three if you're going to head into them. There's also Miami Music Week. Amsterdam and Dance Event is the pinnacle of conferences, and that comes in October, and that helps you plan out for the next year. So make sure you put October in your diary and make it a key focus of everything you do every year. The connections you can make at that one conference are absolutely killer and will drive you forward massively. I know DJs that are playing loads of gigs without releasing, without making any content, because they've got a banging network. In fact, I've had no releases as Ron Mexico, my secret DJ alias. And this year I'm playing two festival stages in Nostock in July and Mucky Weekend in September, purely based on my network. It has to be said that both those gigs are right down low on the listing. And by implementing the first three points we spoke about, I would probably would have been levitated up that listing. And after a few years of graft, even headlining. Aim for the top, right? So you've got killer music, you've built an audience, you've got a network, and you've got great content. What are you missing? Well, it's time for that big old question. And it's a very simple one. Which festival would you like to play for? Or who do you want to play for? Every DJ I speak to will say, I just want to play for anyone. I'm not that bothered. And most of those are playing for no one. Like with everything else in the tree, knowing who the targets are and going after it yourself is going to get you the gigs. So you need to be laser focused and know who's putting those parties on and which parties you want to play for. Then you can go and find those people on LinkedIn and Instagram. And I did say LinkedIn. It's a business platform and it is a music business. So go and add people up on there that are putting parties on. So which festivals are booking DJs and which festivals are booking smaller DJs, if you're a small DJ, that you can reach out to? Who's booking those stages? Because you might find it's different from the actual booker. Did you find this useful? Are you going to implement those tactics? If you are, can you hit that subscribe button. I'd really like to hit 100k followers this year and this audience is growing and it's really getting great. And if you found the content useful, there's tons more on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. If you want to hack to make more content quicker and give you more time to make more music and find festival gigs, then definitely check out last week's video on how to make 100 pieces of content in one day. It's up on the screen now. Go and jump into it. I've been Graham Farmer. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.